best You can be the King Kong banging on your chest You can beat the world, you can beat the war You can talk to God, go banging on his door You can throw your hands up, you can beat the clock You can move a mountain, you can break rocks You can be a master, don't wait for luck Dedicate yourself and you can find yourself Hey guys, Jamper Gaming here with another episode of the Pokemon Fire Red Speedrun. So in this episode, we're going to be doing a couple things. Uh, before we get started, though, we are going to go ahead and grab our bicycle, which we haven't gotten. Uh, I think we were supposed to get a little bit earlier in the game, but we are going to get it now, and we just did. So with that, we are going to go ahead and fly to the cycling road, and we will get some pretty good training out of that, hopefully. So we are going to make our way there, and then after that, we are actually going to go into the safari zone, not to catch any Pokemon, uh, we might catch a few though, and from there uh, we will try to get the HM Surf in the Safari Zone. So that's going to be really important, and it will also really help Seedra, because Seedra really needs uh, a good move. It doesn't really have a gr I mean, it's a decent Pokemon, but it doesn't have many great moves. So uh, where are we right now? I just lost my track. I was looking away for a second. Right, well, we'll find out in a minute. So um, maybe in the gym. I think You know what? I think we're actually in the... In the route next to uh, Fuchsia City. All right, this is weird. It feels weird when you don't know where you are in the game. All right, well anyway, so we're gonna do that, and I'm going to come back live soon with the commentary live for the gym battle, and that will hopefully finish this up. Okay, there we go. So with that, now we will be ready to go to the cycling run. I think I realized there that I needed a little bit of training, and that we will have to go to the cycling road. So, I will see you guys later. This is just going to be the cycling road and hunting down the HM Surf. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. How oh, did our eyes get so red? And what the hell is on Joey's head? And this is where I grew up I dig the prison on and fixed it up I never knew we ever went without The second floor is up for sneaking out And this is where I went to school Most of the time had better things to do Criminal record says I broke him twice I must have done it half a dozen times I wonder if it's too late I can try to graduate Life's better now than it was back then If I was them I wouldn't let me in Oh, 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 oh God, I, I Every memory of looking out the back door I had the photo album spread out on my bedroom door It's hard to say it, time to say it Goodbye
change face Koga it looks like a poison type uh, some definitely a variety of types in the gym uh, the gym trainers though it looks mainly like they're going for all the poison uh, poison type of moves so uh, before we get started let's check out our moves and our Pokemon so I level 39 Parasect and you know before I go through anything I honestly don't know how good my levels are compared to it so far the trainers look good but I don't know how tough this guy's going to be so we have Aerial Ace which will never miss 60 damage Leech Life, which if he has any Psychic types, that'll be really good. We have Poison Powder, that'll be good also. Actually, I don't think it affects Poison in this game, so that's actually not as good as we think. Or at least as I think. Bullet Seed, which does 20 to 50 damage, because it's 10, though it does it 2 to 5 times. Uh, next Pokemon, we have Jolteon, level 40. Shock Wave, which is similar to Aerial Ace, except Electric type. Hyper Beam, which will be our put away move if we really need something uh, that'll pack a punch. Dig, that's a pretty decent move, and return, I don't know how that does exactly now, um, I'm not sure our friendship with, uh, Jolteon, we've trained at 15 levels, so you never know. Uh, let's see, next we have Hitmonchan, who, uh, definitely a variety of type of moves, all 75 damage with different effects for each. Um, next we have Seedra, who I think I used Surf a little too much. As you saw earlier, we got the HM Surf. I thought that would help us, because Water Gun's not a great move, and that's why Seedra's been kind of weak for us lately. But Surf definitely made a new Pokemon. I don't want to waste an Ether on, uh, on Seedra right now, just so I can get up uh, Surf. I think that will be good. I don't want to run back and uh, go to the Pokemon Center. I don't want to redo this whole invisible wall thing. So now, uh... Without, oh yeah, there's Meowth also, um, oh yeah, also something I just want to point out, uh, this is actually kind of handy, I didn't know this though, well, Meowth, you know, our, um, 
or HM Pokemon, his ability is Pickup. So if you saw, you know, a few times throughout, not a few more than that, definitely. Um, throughout this speed run, you know, I just randomly get items from Meowth, usually berries. I got a uh, rare candy from him one time, so that was pretty cool. So now we're going to get into the battle in just a moment. I'm hoping that we get a good TM at the end, because uh, we've been getting some pretty good TMs from these gym leaders. So let's talk to Koga now. Fwahahaha. A mere child like you dares to challenge me? The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. Very well. I shall show you a... I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. Poison brings steady doom. Sleep renders foes helplessness. Despair to the creepy horror of poison type Pokemon. Alright, so we are challenged by... Leader Koga. So, he seems big on the status effects and stuff. He starts off with the wheezing, uh, coughing that is. Level... <coughs> I love how I say coughing. And I cough. Ha ha ha. Anyway. Sorry about that. <laughs> So, coughing level 37, I think that's one of his lower levels, so we might, we're not looking great already. Um, oh no, why did I have out Parasect? Oh no. Oh man. Parasect is terrible against poison, it has, like, double super effectiveness. Alright, so it's gonna, okay, good. Didn't attack, but smoke screen is not very good here. We're gonna throw out a shockwave, and hopefully that should do a good amount, maybe put on yellow, maybe even red. Shockwave's been very good for us. And, oh, that killed it. Very good. Jolteon is a very high special attack, I've realized. So that's a really great move for Jolteon to know. So Parasite grows to level 40 since he was in the battle. That's good. And so does Jolteon get some. And now he's going to send out Muck. Hmm. You know, for some reason, I don't know why, but I think that ground might be super effective to poison. I didn't use it on the coughing just because it, it might have had the levi uh, levitate. Though, I think I'm going to go for the dig. I'm going to take a risk here, because Muck is a pretty hard Pokemon to face. So if we, if, it's, if this is super effective, then we could do some pretty good damage here. Though Dig is a physical attack move, which Jolteon's not as big on that, uh, I think. So hopefully, uh, let's see. Oh my goodness, that's that smoke screen. And then Toxic, oh no, that poisons the Pokemon, and it also gets worse as the turn goes. Alright, you know what I'm going to do, actually? Oh, man. Alright, you know, I'm gonna try another dig. Hopefully we can make it. Jolteon's really fast, so definitely we'll get ahead of Muck. And now Minimize. Now we have Smokescreen and Minimize both going against us. This is not good. So now we're gonna try, uh, let's see, alright, so we're hurt by poisoning. Can we use Dig? No, the attack misses. This is really not good. Now he uses Minimize. You know, I'm gonna throw out a Shockwave, because we need to get this going really quick before, uh, the poison gets really bad. And Muck keeps on using those minimizes and those annoying moves. So Shockwave will never miss. That's why I used it. Shockwave will never miss, no matter what happens. And, oh, nice. Critical hit. Critical hit, guys. We just got that. Okay. Muck is just an annoying Pokemon, like I said. It threw out a smoke screen. Or, wait, was that wheezing? Or coughing? Uh, I don't know. Ugh. I don't know. You know, I'm going to go for Shockwave here. Hopefully it should kill it. I mean, we got a critical hit before, so I don't know, honestly. Oh, my God. Sludge. I think Jolteon's going to die. Oh, no. That's our best Pokemon for this battle. <laughs> oh, no. This is really not good. Um, <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and send out Seedra because... Uh, oh, crap. I was thinking the wrong Pokemon. All right. We should have to make it through this, and then we'll be pretty good. Unless, you know, he might use uh, a Restore. I'm going to try Surf. He's probably... Yeah. Alright, so we used a Hyper Potion. Muck has a lot of HP, so I don't even know if that's going to fill it up. Yes, it does, actually. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, my God. Alright, this is getting to not even be funny. I'm just going to speed through here, just fast forward. You know, I'm still going to be commentating and everything, but... Oh, my God. This is not good. Holy moly. Let's try to send out Hitmonchan. Oh, my God. Yo, this is not good. You know, I think we might die. You know, I think I might die. I'm not on purpose, though. I'm not... Because I want to really get... Um, oh, my God. This is terrible. I think I want to get some revives. I don't have any revives. I didn't come prepared. Am I dumb? Yes. Very. Oh, my... God. How is Arielice doing so much? Like, seriously. Wow. All right. You know, I'm just going to speed through this here. Come on. 
Come on, Meowth, you can do better. Okay, so we'll have to pay out some money to him. Bad thing that we have to pay him, though, because we have to, uh... We're gonna go to the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemart now and get some revives. Let's see, how many can we buy? 43? I'll buy, like, 11. Alright. You know what? Even though we already got a lot, I'm gonna go ahead and get more, uh, antidotes also. Seriously? Okay, they have full heals. I'd rather just get regular, uh... Regular antidotes. You know what, though? He, he is big on the stas effect, so it's actually pretty good to have that. Alright, hopefully it shouldn't take too long. I already know the whole idea of it all, at least. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? How am I supposed to get through? Come on. There we go, Koga. Alright. Let's just switch to Jolteon. Let's get this done quick. I'm just gonna fast forward, uh, the first few, uh, I'm just gonna fast forward coughing here. Just to get this over with. This episode is probably going to be a little long. It's live, so I can't really tell. So, alright. Muck is out. Uh, you know, it was coughing that used the smoke screen. So now we're going to throw it a dig as quick as we can. So uh, it doesn't have a chance to throw it. Smoke screen, minimize, or anything. It's probably going to use a minimize, but... Okay, alright, very good. It used acid armor. So now we don't have to worry about our attack missing. Hopefully it shouldn't. Come on, super effective. Oh, alright. Good news, it's super effective. Bad news, it doesn't do shit. Alright. Let's go for a shockwave here. Alright, that's good. Another acid armor. That acid armor actually won't affect our shockwave, because shockwave is special attack. So, it shouldn't affect it. Now, this should probably put it on red, and it's probably going to use a potion. Yeah, okay. So, with that, it will probably use a potion, like I just said. And, alright, good, that did not poison us. If that poisoned us, we would have been not looking good. So, it seemed before that he has at least two Hyper Potions. Two Hyper Potions, well, that's not good. Because Muck has a lot of HP, so we're probably going to get it down to that red again. You know what? I'm going to throw out one more Shockwave, and I'm going to throw out a Hyper Beam. I don't know if, uh, I mean, I hope Hyper Beam should do a lot of damage. I mean, from here... Oh, great. It did not make the toxic. Great. So, we're gonna go for the hyper beam. Hopefully, it should make it. Yes, it does! Let's see. Can this kill it? Can this kill it? If this kills it, then hopefully we should be able to switch Jolteon out. Okay. Seriously? If you're as speechless as I am, it's it's okay. It's... 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 Uh, wow. Wow. Wow, that wasted a turn. Alright. Well, and the funny thing is, is that, uh, it's, it's a special move, right? No, they don't show it in here, but Hyper Beam is a special move, and look at its special attack, 106. Alrighty then. Um, maybe it's a physical, I don't know, but unless, yeah, I don't, I don't get that. Alright, let's get this done over with, I'm angry now. <laughs> Okay, so that kills it. Shockwave does more than that. Um, I also did find out recently that there was some, like, rule or something. Not rule, but if it's the same type as the Pokemon, that it does more damage. So Jolteon, like, that Shockwave, it does the, uh, it's electric type on electric, so it gets one and a half times that. And then, um, plus it has, like, really high special attack, so that's why that does a lot. Alright, moving on. So now we're going to send out Seedra for this, what does it say, coughing, right? Yeah, coughing, okay. So now now we have full PP for water, uh, for uh, Surf, and hopefully this should do a good amount, maybe even kill it. And yes, okay, good. That muck was a pain in the ass. These two coughings, not so bad. So now a wheezing. Ooh, this might get a little hairy. Um, let's send out Hitmonchan. I want to see uh, Hitmonchan get some action in this battle. Alright, so now Weezing, oh man, 43. <laughs> wow. Alright, let me think here for a second. Let's see how it does. Let's throw out, oh man, there's no good moves against it. I should have thought better. It's frozen! Oh my god, it's frozen. It's frozen. Oh my god, how is it frozen? That is seriously insane, wow. Can't have the luck go better our way, right? Okay, so... Uh, well, they each do 75. Um, you know what? Like I said a minute ago, that one and a half times the damage. Let's try that. Oh. 
Well, there we go. Got my hopes up, and guess what happens? I got let down. <laughs> All right, so we're going to throw another brick break. And okay. Not doing great here. All right, I'm not loving that toxic. That toxic gets worse as it goes. So I'm just going to speed switch here. Let's bring out our Cedra. And maybe... Oh, come on. Don't poison it. Don't poison it. Don't... Okay, good. We're going to throw out a Surf here. Yes, it got ahead uh, of the Weezing. Can this kill it? And... Oh, my God. It has another Hyper Potion. I, I believe, at least. It had another Hyper Potion a minute ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is crazy. All right. This is probably a waste of I an item, though. I'm using a full restore because it's probably going to use a hyper potion. So I'm going to uh, reciprocate now with a full restore that will heal its poison. It will restore its HP. And yes, it will use that hyper potion. So I don't know if that was a waste, though. Whatever. We might, we might need it for the next gym, but I'm just using it now. So here we go. We're going to use a surf. This should maybe put on yellowish, hopefully. Oh, nice, 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 nice. All right, so Sludge, that shouldn't really do terrible. We get poisoned, though I think it's pretty much in the bag now unless he pulls something out of nowhere because uh, we're probably going to get an attack first. Yes, we do. Surf, it lands, it hits Weezing, and yes, we kill it. We have just defeated Koga with our Seedra, our newly acquired Pokemon. And there we go. Player defeated Leader Koga. Hmm. You have proven your worth. Here. Take the soul badge. Okay, yeah. Poison type soul. Okay, got it. That makes a lot of sense. Now that you have the soul badge, the defense of your Pokemon rises. It also lets you surf outside of battle. Ah, take this too. And we got the TM6. What is that? Toxic. Oh, yes. That is a great move. That could even replace, um, what's his name? Uh, Parasex. If he can learn it. The poison powder. Because it has better accuracy and it's a much better move. Okay, let's see. A move that badly poisons the foe, its poison damage worsens every time, uh, every turn. So it does 80, uh, 85 accuracy, a little, better, a little better accuracy than poison powder. Let's see who can learn it. Wow. Wow. Every Pokemon, seriously? Every po- Alright, you know, before I do this, let me check my moves that I have right now to see what, who I want to have a really good move. Um, let's see. Now, I might leave Parasect alone, because he already has the Poison Powder, so... Hmm. <laughs> Maybe Jolteon? Wow. Hitmonchan, I want to keep at its current state. Maybe Seedra. Hmm. Huh. Alright, you know what? Hidden Power hasn't been doing great for us. I haven't really found what it's effective to. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and use my TM for Toxic on Cedra. Alright, so we're going to delete Hidden Power here, and Cedra is going to be one Pokemon that is a pain in the ass to face. Because it has that combo of... Let's see, here we go. We have... Smoke screen and toxic. That's kind of like the the combo that Muck has. Oh wow, they keep the same puzzle. All right, whatever. So that's pretty cool. Very good TM. Underrated, I would say definitely. So we're gonna go ahead and heal up our Pokemon now, and we already had a lot of stuff that we could do. We uh, we got some stuff checked off the list. Though now our next area that we can head to is this area and the Seafoam Islands. Uh, Pokemon Mansion, that's pretty cool. Um, and that'll be good to check out. Uh, but before we do that, we have uh, another stop. Uh, we probably have to go to Silphco, actually. Wait, are we, uh, are we fully healed? We're probably not, right? No, we are. I just lost my train of thought, I guess. <laughs> so, we're probably going to try... I'm probably going to do some off-screen training, almost definitely, I would say. Um, we're probably going to maybe check this out, um... Team Rocket running this place? Alright, yeah, so Team Rocket is running this place. So over the next few episodes, I don't know if I'm going to mash them into one or not. Though definitely over the next couple episodes, we are going to have a couple big things going on. We have to... Okay, that's pretty clear now. We have to defeat the Silphco, that base, whatever. 
And then it looks like we can go to and go to this gym, Saffron City Gym, and attempt it. So next episode, look for the rocket hideout. I don't know if we're going to have enough time for a gym battle. We might. Though, yeah. So in this episode, we got a decent amount done. We took care of the cycling road. We beat a gym. Uh, we also got a pretty good HM. Uh, I wouldn't even say pretty good. I would say the best out of all the HMs. Uh, they definitely. I mean, it's really handy. And I would say the second most handiest because fly is really handy. And I would say the best in terms of attack. So next episode, we will head to Silphco, and I don't know why he's not blocking that entrance. And we will have to check out what's the deal and what's going on. So thanks for watching, guys. Look for more episodes. Oh, and until then, guys, cheers for gaming. And